it's a little bit late in the month already. We're kind of already on the second week of March. So this is gonna be kind of a February and beginning of March favorites. And I haven't done a beauty favorite like monthly video in so long. And I think it's because I'm the kind of girl who kind of sticks to the same thing if she's really, really enjoying them. So it's really hard for me sometimes to kind of switch off to new things, try new products. And I've really been enjoying the products I have been using lately. But I made it a goal this year to get out there and try a bunch of new stuff. So I really wanted to just make this like a full on beauty favorites video for the moment. Um, and these are kind of products that I have been trying beginning of January, mostly February and beginning of March. So that is what I'm doing today. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. I make videos every single week and don't forget to follow me everywhere else. Also, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and let's get started. Cause I mean, I have quite a few things behind me. <laughs> Starting off with skincare, I have been using two clay masks that I've really, really been enjoying. I picked these up a few months ago and I find myself using them weekly now. So I have been using the pure clay masks from L'Oreal, two of them. One of them is the black charcoal mask and then I have the red clay mask. And I picked up these two mainly because of the different benefits that they give your skin. Um, and I've talked about these in a previous video as well. Um, so I usually use this one more around my nose area and the top of my forehead And I usually use the red clay mask more around my cheek area right here super good super inexpensive Really really lovely clay masks. So I have been using these like crazy Sticking to the topic of skin. I just finished an entire bottle of the first aid beauty pure skin face cleanser Like this entire thing is empty. I've also made a first aid beauty video a couple months back and I'll leave that link down below if you haven't seen it but I absolutely love 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 this brand and I never finish anything that is like an honest answer to when I use products I rarely rarely finish everything I finish this entire bottle there is no like gimmick to this it's just all natural products I just love how natural this feels on my skin super lightweight no crazy perfume, you know, scents or anything like that. Just 100% natural. And this is really good for removing surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime. On the topic of makeup now, oh my god. I just, I've been trying so many good things. <laughs> the first thing I have to mention is the Lorac Pro Eye Heart Brunch Palette. I also made a video on this. I'll leave that one linked down below as well. And I mean, just look at this. How could you not love this palette? I've been so careful using this, like when I use this, I make sure I don't get any other eye product on the white trim, so I'll like gently grab a brush and like gently tap it just to not make a mess because I just think this is like the most beautiful palette ever. The colors are amazing, they're so beautiful, perfect for Easter and you know springtime which is coming up. The mirror is beautiful and large. I mean, the packaging in general just caught my eye. And I love Lorac eye products. Their eye palettes are amazing, so I just had to have this one. And I am enjoying this very much. And I love keeping this out on display um, on my desk behind me. I have also been loving the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Oh my god, I cannot believe it took me this long to get this product. I also made a video on this as well, so I'll leave that one linked, listed down below too. First off, the tin. I love the tin. They're super famous for keeping a lot of their um, eyeshadow palettes in tins because, you know, it's sturdy. Also, it just looks beautiful in general. But the second you open this up, it just reeks of peaches and it just smells so good. And the colors in here are so beautiful. I actually have some of the colors in my eyes right now. I have peaches and cream. And then on top of that, I put nectar and then I use a puree. Um, today, but lately I have been using Bellini and Luscious and Summer Yum all over my eyes as well uh, And I use this almost every single day So if this is you know, these colors are something up your alley and you don't have this palette just yet I think you'd really really enjoy this. It's so beautiful. So I also made a video on this as well. Jesus Christ I think I made a video on almost everything that I'm mentioning today um, but it is the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. This thing is amazing. I use this almost every single day. It's the foundation I have on my face right now and I just feel like it gives me such beautiful coverage. 
The color I use is number 30, which I believe is a warm nude color. And this liquid foundation is just amazing. I just love the fact that I can throw this in my bag and take it to go if I need to or apply it here and then take it in my bag to retouch up if I need to. It's just one of my favorite foundations. I seriously think cushion foundations are my top foundations ever because they're practical, they're easy to use, and they're super quick and I am a quick makeup person. Now I don't remember if I've mentioned this in a favorites before. I don't think I have actually, but uh, it is the Tartius Pro Glow Palette. This thing is amazing. Oh my god, I use this every single day as well. So it comes with six shades of bronzing or contouring and highlighting. Um, and I have been using this side more than this side. I'm not a big fan of the cream shade. Um, but I have been using Strobe, Summer, and Sculpt a lot. I actually have them on my face right now as well. Um, so I usually keep that side closed. But these three colors right here I use every single day for contouring and highlighting or just, you know, bronzing my face. I don't really contour. Um, but just, you know, bronzing my face, giving it some color. So the Tarte Pro Glow Palette has been a must-have for me. I grab this every single morning when I'm doing my face. Something else I have been loving, and I have mentioned this before in a favorites, but I just picked it up again and I have been using it every single day, is the Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Blush Blush in the color Peach Beach. Now, this is beautiful. It goes with everything. And I have been using this a lot because I have been using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Now, I know that Too Faced released a Sweet Peach, rain a sweet peach range of blushes and highlights and bronzers, but I don't have my hands on those yet because I have been using this. And I'm kind of like, oh, this is kind of like a little bit of the blushes already in one. Um, so I've been reaching for this one a little bit more and I use this every single day. I just feel like it gives my face like a natural flush color and their packaging is always so pretty. So how could you not like this? Moving down to the last few things, I have been mixing my mascaras again. I used to do this a long time ago and then I stopped and then I'm back on it again. So obviously, the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I can't say anything more about this. I use this every single day. But after using this, I go on top of it with my Butter London Iconoclast Mega Volume La Car Mascara. These two together, just, oh my God, I can't even explain it. It's like wearing falsies sometimes. Like they just make my lashes so much more voluminous together and really dark and pretty and I just, I cannot not mix these two together. I have to mention a lip product of course and it is the L'Oreal Infallible Paints in the color Nude Star. It's the color I have on my lips right now. It's the color I've been wearing in a lot of my videos as well and it's the color I've been, you know, using in a lot of my photos on Instagram. It's just one of my favorite lip colors right now. I just feel like it looks so good with everything. It ties in very well. Um, with the Sweet Peach palette, um, which is why I've been using it so much because I use the Sweet Peach palette so much. But I just love the way this feels on my lips. It's almost like a mix between a lip paint and a lip gloss and a lipstick. Super pigmented, they come in a variety of beautiful colors. Um, and I have just been reaching for this one more than anything else. Something else I have been absolutely loving and I actually wanted to get myself this around the holiday season because that's, I think, when it came out. It is the Benefits Bigger and Bolder Brows set. So I have the darkest shade. I believe they come in three different shades. And these come in two different kinds of settings. So you have the Bigger Bolder Brows and then you have, I believe, the Defined Brows and it's like in a yellow tint. Um, but I got Bigger Bolder Brows because that's more my style. And I've been wanting to try the Benefit Brows set for a really long time, but I just did not know what to get. So I love that this comes in kind of a set. The first thing you get is the Ready Set Brow Gel, the Benefit Brow. This is the color number five, so yeah, it's the darkest shade. And I love this thing so much. It definitely makes my brows look so much more bolder. You also get in here the High Brow Highlighter Stick, and this is the Ute. I also use this as well. And I actually keep this one in my purse with me. And then lastly, it comes with the um, straight brow kind of set and then uh, this mechanism which I've never seen before in my life and I don't know how to use. So I just keep these in here and pretend, you know, that uh, that I use them but I don't. 
And yes, this entire set was like $40 and I'm just absolutely astonished by that because this little guy alone is like 22 bucks and this one is like 19 and it's just like, it's such a good deal to have all of these things in here for that price, it's amazing. And I mean the tin thing again is just genius because it's super durable your makeup in there is gonna last. And I mean, eventually if I wanted to take all of this out and put more makeup in here or use this for something else, I can. And I mean, the packaging is just beautiful. So I love this thing. I love it a lot. Last but not least, I have been loving a perfume. And this one is actually one that my grandma got me. And I don't know how she knew that I've been wanting to try this perfume because I did not mention it to her, but I had like a sample size and I was like, oh my God, I love this so much. And then I got it for Christmas and I've been using it ever since. It is the Lancome La Vie Belle perfume and it smells delicious. Oh my God. It just smells like, like a woman. You know what I mean? Like, like a really fancy woman. That is what this smells like. I don't know. Like this is just one of those like, you smell lovely perfumes. It almost reminds me of like one of the Chanel perfumes maybe like one of the Chanel Chance perfumes where it's like very florally and light and just very ladylike. It just smells so good. So that is gonna be everything for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed my current favorites. As always, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I will see you guys in my next one.